No, 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 you're okay. <laughs>
Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like a job that you fence the beach. No. <laughs> Luke. You got any snacks for us? <laughs> Only like Harry Bow dinosaurs. <laughs> Maybe these ones. Are these good bananas? Hi everyone, I hope you're doing okay. Um, this week I wanted to talk to you about my notebook because um, obviously it's not the one that you usually see um, and I know that some of you will notice um, and I would have to talk about it eventually anyway. Um, this obviously is not my A6 Hobonichi Avec notebook, this is a week's book. Um, my A6 is here. Um, at the beginning of the year when I was deciding what I wanted to do for the year I bought both books so that I would have the option of both um, or either or. I wasn't sure how I wanted to do things, um, but in the end I chose the A6. Um, this last month has been a bit weird for me notebook-wise, I just haven't been reaching for it in the way that I normally would. Um, and I think maybe it's because I fell a bit behind and then I was just busy doing other stuff. Um, and then suddenly there's so much to catch up on. But also because um, I was monitoring like the Hobonichi like, previews for September. Um, and like none of the A6 covers were that cute. <laughs> um, so then I started thinking about the weeks. Um, and then last week, um, I remembered that I had a weeks still in my room somewhere and I found it. Um, and I was like, well, what if I just set up a week in here and see how it looks? Um, like for no reason, like I don't have a justification for this. Like I just, it just happened, okay? <laughs> um, so I found the weeks and I set up a week in it. And I had a running to-do list on this side, and I actually got a lot more done than I normally would. Um, I think the problem with my A6 book is that sometimes if I get behind, and then I don't catch up, and then because you use a page a day, sometimes when I turn the page, I'm like, okay, all of those uncompleted tasks no longer exist, which isn't true. But I have some issue with, like, not object permanence, but remembering about things when I can't see them. 
Um, so every time I turn a page and forget to move the tasks over, I just forget about the tasks. Like, I, I don't know. It seems really silly to sit here only like a month or two after I just started my the second half of the year in the ASICs and being like it wasn't working for me because obviously it was until it wasn't anymore I guess. I don't know like it sounds silly and it feels silly so if you're thinking that I sound silly don't worry I also think I sound silly. Um, I don't know what to tell you I hit a slump I hit a bit of a wall with the ASICs. I already had a week's in my bedroom so I just gave it a go and it's working. <laughs> um, and then uh, yesterday, the 25th, Hobonichi did the full preview of all the new books for the September, which you can pre-order, ready for the new year, um, and the weeks of the cutest books. Um, I don't know if anyone else feels similarly, but a lot of the covers were kind of disappointing this year. Um, I know that obviously you're not going to love every cover every year, like sometimes some years you're just not going to aesthetically align with Hobonichi as a company. Um, but this year it kind of sucked, I guess. Um, everything was quite floral or brightly coloured or like pastel-y and I don't really like any of that kind of stuff. Um, but some of the week's books were cute. So the book I've been testing things out in is um, a week's mega, so it has extra graph paper pages at the back. Um, and it just has a clear cover on it. I don't really love this colour or the orange numbers but you know that's what I had. Um, so what I've been doing is making notes about my day on the left hand side and then keeping a running to-do list on the right hand side. This is the same habit tracking that I had at the top of my A6 pages and then I'm just keeping a running log of my weekly tasks on this side. This is this week's um, and it's working really well. I'm using a yellow mild liner to highlight urgent tasks like work tasks mostly and that's how I'm keeping track of things, and it's working really well. I'm keeping track of what I'm watching and reading at the bottom as well. Um, and I'm a lot more efficient, <laughs> so I don't know if maybe this is the direction I need to be going in. Um, and originally, if you can hear Wednesday whining outside the door, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, and then at the back, in the graph paper pages, I'm using my same tag system that I have always used, and I'm keeping commonplace pages in the exact same way that I had and it's nice because I feel like the room, the space you have as a, as a length <laughs> is more interesting, I guess. It's easier to fill um, and I feel more inspired to use the pages. I'm tracking my new meds, the side effects. Um, this is me planning for Hobonichi next year. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Like, I know this seems really like out of left field. It's very sudden and I don't have good justification. But I wanted to update you because I know that a lot of you are interested in how I use my notebooks. Um... That's it really, like there's nothing better to say about it. I feel really, I'm not embarrassed, but a bit embarrassed because I keep talking about how the A6 is so good and it really works for me. But then as soon as my approach to things changes or I'm struggling a little bit autistically, like suddenly things don't work anymore and you have to <laughs> adapt and overcome, I guess. Um, like it just, I don't know, my needs changed somehow in a way that I didn't quite perceive until it happened. And, that, and now suddenly this is working so much better. Um, I think for the new year, I'm gonna use a week. So I'm gonna stick this out and see how I get on. Um, I think sometimes, even though I'm commonplacing and journaling on the same pages in the A6, like I still don't keep up with the days because it's a page a day. Some days I just don't need to be writing stuff, I guess. Um, and so I'm always just, it feels like climbing uphill the whole way with using it, I guess. Whereas with the weeks, I can just keep dipping in and out a little bit and by the end of the week it's full. So I don't know. I really don't know. I did previously test a week's book, um, for 2021 and then I stopped using it because I had just moved and I lost track of my entire existence for about six months. Um, and this is so beautiful. This was the Sean Tan edition. Like, this is, like, I, like, like, I kept it, even though it's only got, like, ten filled pages, because it's so beautiful. Like, why don't any of the covers this year look like this? <laughs> um, I just, moment of silence for that, because that's, that's beautiful. Um, but I did start using this previously, like, for 2021, and it did really work for me, and I was keeping an A6 at the same time for no reason, often repeating information between them. Um... So I knew this kind of approach did work for me, and I'm not sure why this year then I decided to use only the A6. Um, so the difference is that this one is a normal Hobonichi week, so it only has 71 graph paper pages. This one has like 250 because it's the Mega, but the Megas are really ugly. <laughs> um, they really only come in certain colours, um, very limited colours. 
Um, but the new English edition that they're releasing for 2023 will have 75 pages, I think. So I think I'm going to get that and then supplement it with the memo pad notebooks that you get that are the same shape. Um, uh, yeah, I'll better, I'll better explain that. Maybe like next week I'll show you the stuff I might choose for Hobonichi next year if you're interested. Um, but I just wanted to come on and very hazily <laughs> tell you that, yeah, I changed book. I don't have any good justification for it, but, you know, we're rolling. Um, I'm having a good time with it, though. I really like it. I think I might stick with this. Um, yeah, I just wanted to update you. Um, if anyone is interested, I did go to the doctors this week and I got new meds. Um, I not only got my inhalers upgraded, but I got some other new meds as well. They should help me feel a lot better generally. Um, but they are making me feel a little wonky while I'm getting used to them. Um, I guess they're like rewiring my brain, so I'm feeling a bit funny. Um, I hope this wasn't too rambly, but hopefully it means that in the coming weeks and like in the future and stuff, I'll feel a lot better and I might even start making more sense if we're really lucky. Um, oh, I also finished um, A Court of Silver Flames, the last book in the series at the moment. I think someone told me there was going to be one more. Um, but I finished this one. It took me a lot longer to read than the rest of the series. I read the like the first like four or whatever books in like a week and then this one took me like a week in itself. Um, it was good and I did really enjoy it, but um, I'm not gonna lie, the smut was too much. I was not, I was not vibing with it. It was too much and I didn't like it. Um, it was a bit too frequent and it was kind of gross, like the language used was kind of gross. Um, but I did really enjoy the story, I guess. Um, and I will read the final one, just for the sake of finishing it all. Um, but yeah, I finished that. Now I'm reading, uh, The Midnight Club. I can't show it to you because it's in one of my bags. Um, but I'm reading that in advance of the Netflix show coming out in October. Um, Mike Flanagan, who's gonna direct it, is one of my favourite horror directors. He did Hill House and The Haunting of Blair Manor. Last year he did Midnight Mass, and that was literally, like, life-changing. <laughs> Um, so I'm really excited for the Midnight Club to come out in October. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at this week. Um, a bit, a bit of a weird week, very mixed. Um, doing a lot of client work behind the scenes that you haven't seen, um, and then just changing book out of the blue. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope that made some kind of sense, um, and I will elaborate on it next week, I guess. If you have questions, feel free to leave questions and I'll answer them. Um, but I really like this. <laughs> I'm so sorry to my A6 book. I'm so sad. <laughs> but also, I love this. This is really good. Um, okay, I will see you soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, take care.